Yo, what's good everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how I practice my go moves for Terry. It's kind of like training mode, but it's really not at the same time because it's not training mode. But you can do the exact same thing in training, but I like to not do it in training mode myself. So I can pick how many stocks so I feel like I'm scared of, you know, losing to a computer basically. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to go in. First, you can set your stock amount to whatever you want. I usually will never do anything below 10, but go ahead and set it to whatever you want. And then you're going to go to the fixed damage handicap. Make sure you don't turn that to auto or off. Make sure it's on. It says on, right? And then you're going to hop into any stage you want to. And all you're going to do is keep practicing your inputs, your commands, your combos, trying to make sure that you can get it on this computer that's moving around. You can pick whatever level you want the computer to be. You can take it easy all the way up. I chose level five right here just to, you know, do whatever I wanted. But you can pick whatever you want for this to work out. And all you're going to do is for 14 minutes, keep practicing the same two go moves, which is Buster Wolf and Power. You guys should keep flipping between them. What I like to do is I like to practice F tilt into Buster Wolf and then up tilt into Power Geyser. It was a really hard to confirm. As you guys can see, I'm messing up a lot while I'm doing it. But as I progress through this one session, I land it way more as we keep going on and on. I land it way more consistently as well. So I'll let you guys try this out. It's actually very, very helpful. I'm going to keep doing this as much as I can because I am really bad at confirming Power Geyser, and if I can learn how to confirm that, I'd be so good at it. And I'd be so good if I can learn how to confirm Buster Wolf better as well on a moving target. Because when someone shields, I start getting scared. I don't know what to do. But if I can find ways to get them before you even get the chance to shield, then that'd be great. So I'm going to bump up the levels as I continue to do this. Hopefully, I'm never going to go to level 9 because level 9s are out of control. They just they react to everything too fast. I'm going to stop at level 8 and hopefully I can get good enough around level 8 and keep practicing over and over again to the point where every time I do the input, it's exactly what comes out. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, we're 100, well, less than 100 to 10K. And I'm very excited to get there. So <laughs> hopefully this video does boost it up. I'll catch you guys later.